Yo, what is up guys, Coach the Tech here. So today, I wanna make a little quick bit of how the test bench performs. Now, if you guys are wondering what's in the specs, I'm gonna put everything in the description below, everything that's inside of the PC. Also, I've done a live build as well as I made a quick little video of the, uh, the test bench setup. I'm gonna throw a bunch of cards up there. So basically in this video, I just wanna show you guys how this test bench runs. Now, of course, all the pricings and everything in the everything is gonna be in the description below to get it through Amazon, guys. Now, since the holiday seasons are coming up, I just wanna make a quick vid because the, the, the parts over here are not the top end parts. So if you guys are looking into, into building a PC, especially right now, since like I said, the holiday seasons are approaching like in a week or two weeks, you know, it matters when you're watching the video. But basically just to give you guys a breakdown because a lot of people are always asking me, hey, you know, I have a budget, X budget, you know, what can I build with it? So basically I just, you know, in this video, I just wanna show you guys basically how this PC performs, uh, how it performs in games, how it performs in just, you know, editing and basically stuff like that, you know, just to have some fun. But um, let's get to the video, guys. All right, guys, so as you can see, we have the AMD Ryzen 7 1800X. Of course, this is the chip, this is the processor which we're running. We have it at four gigahertz. Now I couldn't get, so just zoom in guys. I couldn't get uh, exactly four, I got 3.999 hertz. Uh, the memory is overclocked to 3000 megahertz as well. Now of course, the in idle we're getting around, you know, usual temps around 40 Celsius, which is perfectly fine. Now it's overclocked to four gigahertz in on all cores. I'm gonna go into the bars and show you guys how I did that. Now of course, the graphics card, the power color RX 580, we got a slight overclock, nothing nothing that major. I think I got like 100 over the uh, the core clock and the same thing with the memory. So it wasn't that big of a deal. All right, so now let's jump into the BIOS quickly. Let me just show you how exactly I got to four gigahertz and on all cores. Not a lot of people know how to exactly do it, so I figured I'd just show you guys pretty quick. All right, guys, so we're in the BIOS. Of course, you guys can see everything that I'm exactly running. So the, like I said, the memory is at 300 uh, megahertz. It's 16 gigs of... Uh, 16 gigs of RAM, the, the Corsair Vengeance RAM. Of course, all the specs are gonna be listed below. So of course we have the um, the CPU ratio at four gigahertz. We overclocked the memory to 3,000 3, megahertz. Uh, usually, uh, let's see what I, I went into the D, uh, DRM timings. I switched the timing to its uh, default state, which is 15, 15, 17, 35. Okay, next, if you go to um, external digi power control. So what I did is CPU low light comp calibration. So it essentially what that does is uh, boost up the voltage of the CPU. So here I have the um, the cleanest power here. I had it at level five for me, it works. Now CPU current cap uh, compatibility, I have it at 130, 130%. That's how I have my setup. Uh, we left uh, CPU power set power duty at T prone to uh, for the temperature. Uh, we have the VDD SOC low light ca calibration at level four and the current compatibility at 130%. Now keep in mind with these options, everyone's CPU is gonna be a bit different. You know, you could use these options to see if they work for you. Usually I like to always, you know, boost up the uh, low line calibration at basically all of the settings that I have, you know, set up here. Okay, now of course, moving on, I have the uh, CPU core voltage at 1.38. Uh, we have the DRM voltage at 1.35 volts. All right, so if we go to advanced mode, we're gonna see AMD CBS, we're gonna click on that. Next, we're gonna go to Zen Common Options. Then after Zen Common Options, you're gonna wanna go to Custom P-State Throttling, and you're gonna wanna hit Accept. And then here, essentially what I did was, so if you have the P-State enabled, what it's gonna happen is, it's gonna constantly fluctuate the core clock. So if you're gaming or if you have the CPU on full load, you are gonna reach the core potential wherever you have it set on. So for instance, here I have it set on to four gigahertz. Now what's gonna happen is when I'm gaming or doing something high intensive, that that core speed, that core clock is gonna go up to its maximum uh, core speed, which is four gigahertz. But if I'm at idle, it's gonna drop and it's gonna start fluctuating to whichever core speed it decides. So basically here is I disabled the P state. So whether or not, you know, I, I, I'm gaming or I'm just at idle, the core speed is gonna be constant at four gigahertz. Again, it's not gonna fluctuate. So if you have an AMD board, you have to, if, you, if, you're, if you're always wondering why it constantly fluctuates, you wanna disable the P state option. So the constant is gonna be four gigahertz or whichever core speed you have it set up to. All right, so I hope that uh, helped you guys understand essentially how to overclock and what, 
what's the difference between the constant speeds and the constant fluctuating speed. So if you do have that feature enabled and you don't understand why constantly fluctuates, just disable it and set it to the core speed that you want and it's gonna be constant to that speed. Now here, let's, let me just show you exactly guys what I got on Cinebench scores and uh, you know other stuff that I have set up here. All right, so here on Cinebench, we actually did overclock the CPU to 4.1 gigahertz and I got 1816. Now the constant speed, the most stable speed that I found is at four gigahertz here at four gigahertz, we have 1769. Now quick, let me just show you guys GPU-Z. Now here, of course, we have our RX 580 series card. This is the power co color, as I mentioned. Now here on MSI Afterburner, basically, I did mention that I had it overclocked. I do apologize, I did have it overclocked, but it wasn't set. The 1380 and 2000 megahertz, this is the, this is the, uh, the, 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 the factory overclock. Uh, what I had it to before was at 440 or 430, but since this is gonna be more of a test, I, what I wanna do is just increase the power and leave the power limit to the max, but I'm gonna leave everything to default settings. When I did try to overclock the card, I did not have such a substantial overclock. Now, what you guys quickly have to understand with these pre-overclocked graphics cards, uh, when you get them from the, from the manufacturers, what they essentially do is they overclock it to its max, but also they might give you just a bit of headroom so you could push it maybe to 50 hertz or to 100 hertz over the, the, the base clock of the graphics card which you have. I just found it, you know, you could also increase the voltage and to see exactly what you could do and how you could push it. Maybe I'll do that in a separate video, but just keep in mind when you do buy these uh, aftermarket cards and they're like the, uh, the overclocked series cards, you will notice that you can't really push your graphics card to the potential the way you want it to. All right guys, so we have Battlefield 5, of course, you know, this is gonna be the first game which I'm gonna test. It's a new game that came out. It's absolutely amazingly optimized. The game is absolutely gorgeous. Let's jump into the settings quickly. Let's see what we rock in here. So we're gonna go to video. Now, of course, we're running at a 2K resolution, 2560 by 1440 at 144 Hertz. Now, I did review this monitor. This is the Acer monitor. I'm gonna throw a card up there, guys. Definitely check this monitor out. It's absolutely amazing for the price and it's for the specs that you get with this monitor. Of course, motion blur is off. We have everything enabled here. Let's go to uh, advanced. We are running at high settings. I have DirectX 12 disabled because the, the performance is just terrible. Uh, we have frame rate limiter 200 to 200. I could rate, uh, I could set it to a monitor refresh rate, but I prefer to leave it at maximum uh, refresh rate. This is a free sync, free sync monitor, by the way. But uh, but yeah, let's let's see how the game runs. I mean, right now we are getting in in game screen. We are getting around 55, 46 frames, but that's gonna change. Let's launch the game. All right, guys, we are in the game, and oh my God, look how beautiful this game is. The performance is amazing. Look, we're in the open. I'm completely in the open right now. We got, we're getting around 87 FPS to 90 FPS. I mean, the, this car, the 580 is absolutely handle, is handling this game in uh, 2K res. The GPU temperature is at 65 Celsius. It's gonna probably go around 72, which is nothing. Absolutely amazing. The CPU, we have it at around 50, 50 Celsius. So that's perfect. Now let, let's go kill. Let's go find some cats and let's go kill them. I mean, absolutely amazing. The optimization in this game is beautiful. There it is. Woo, look at that. Let's go. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. I didn't see your ass. I got him. Come on. Come on, boy. Whoa, what the? Where's he shooting me from? From the back, they're like everywhere. But look, we're at 76, 69. The temperature went up a bit for the GP, but it's beautiful. Where is it? You're done. You're done, boy. 67 frames. Still going. Beautiful. Not even hitting to the 40s or the 50s. Where are they? Oh my god. But beautiful. I mean easy this card this system runs this game absolutely beautiful guys the 1800x i mean listen the 1800x is still a beast a core processor you know we could see that the the cpu the cpu is actually not even being utilized to its uh, to its full potential as you can see here it's around it's fluctuating 20 percent you know around 40 percent different cores but we are receiving a stable at four gigahertz 
as well as we are getting uh, the, the, the RAM this game is utilizing around 7 uh, gigs of RAM. So, you know, minimum you do need at least 8 gigs of RAM to run this game. Alright, let, let's see what, what other damage we could do here quickly. Oh, hello, mate. Alright, they're both done. How did I miss your ass? What? Oh, what the fuck is that? Oh, shit. Oh, goddamn. They're like throwing stuff at me. Wow, this game is absolutely amazing. Whoa! Look at that, it just blew up. Now, now we, we see a frame rate difference at 65. So of course, with the explosions, you are gonna get uh, a, a bit of a performance loss, but what is he doing? But still, it's absolutely amazing. Fifth, six, I mean, it's... I think I'm gonna die. But <laughs> just to show you guys, look, the system is running this game like Absolutely amazing. We're gonna switch it. We're gonna play some uh, Call of Duty right now. All right, guys. So we are on Black Ops. Now, of course, here the same thing. We got it turned up. We have 144 hertz, 2K res. We have V-Sync off. Uh, we got everything set up to high because I think that's the most optimal um, setting for this system. But anyways, let's jump into the gameplay. All right, guys. So we're about to jump in the game. Just a quick FYI, I am a professional. Don't try this at home. All right. All right, so we're getting around 42 FPS. All right, let's go a little lower. 47. All right, we're getting around 72 on the card. Oh, it's gonna be it's gonna be a hot drop. It's gonna be a hot drop. These cats don't know what's coming, man. These cats don't know what's coming. Oh shit. Okay. Oh. Oh, you bastard, man. Damn it. But with regards of the fact, let's re let's rerun that man. That that was just that was just disgusting. All right, guys. So this is round two. Now, of course, Blackout uh, Black Ops is running nice in the system. Right, let's quickly just deploy. Of course, out of the helicopter, we're getting around 43, 42. Of course, the FPA, FPS meters uh, dip, constantly fluctuating. But goddamn, look at the memory. It's using almost 10. It's using 10 gigs. Wow. That's insane. This game uses a lot of RAM. Wow. All right, guys, GTA 5 is up next. So let's just quickly jump into the graphic settings. Uh, of course, we got everything turned up, you know, 1440p. Now, I went with uh, high settings. So since I had every game high, so we're going to keep it mostly all in high right now. Uh, let's go to advanced settings. I wish this to get probably good numbers. I haven't tested it now, tested it yet, but let's let's definitely uh, check it out. All right, Joe, guys, we're out of here running on GTA. It is pretty demanding. We could see that the FPS over here is around 55. The GPU Celsius is at 64. Um, overall, the RAM usage is not that bad. We're only using uh, around five gigs of RAM. The GPU is using close to four gigs of RAM, but the frame rates are taking a little hit. So let's let's cause some chaos. Let's see where they're gonna drop. But yeah, remember this this is in high settings. Alright, alright, all right. we got some police out here. Alright, so now we're causing chaos. Let's take the Gatling gun. Let's blow some stuff up. There you go. We went to 42. Yeah, so this game is demanding, but it's still playable. I mean, we could lower the settings, but it still looks great on an IPS monitor. My God, it looks amazing. Right, more chaos at 40 still. All right, dead. So as, as we can see that the game is running at 40, around 40 um, FPS. We could play with the frame rates, but I think out of this test, it's fine. But, you know, the system could still handle it uh, without uh, any hiccups. You could lower some more settings, but still, I mean, it's, it's run, remember, we are running this at 2K res. Now, if I switch this down to 1080p, it's, it's gonna run it like hotcakes. So, just to give you guys a quick heads up on that. All right, so out of curiosity, I did lower the resolution to 1920 by 1080. Of course, the refresh rate is at 144 hertz. I still left all the settings at high, guys, so I didn't touch anything. I just touched the res, and automatically, I see the frame rate jump to 76. So, let's just see how the game runs at, at uh, 1920 by 1080 resolution. Let's see if we take a drastic frame hit. Remember, on 2K, we were getting around uh, 40. Let's see what we get here. 
So look, let's let's make some chaos. 67. I mean, yeah, playing this at, at 1920 by 1080, you're not gonna have any issues, like I said, just to show you guys. I don't want no one questioning me in the comments below. More chaos, 67. Yeah, we're hitting 60s. But yeah, guys, so running this, so basically running this at this resolution, you guys can see the drastic change in frame rates uh, for FPS change. Uh, the GPU Celsius did go up to 70 Celsius, which I usually will. But yeah, running this at 1080p, it's gonna, like I said, it's gonna run it, it's gonna run it beautifully. But when you increase the resolution, you increase the demand to, uh, for the GPU. So that's why you get the frame rate, uh, the losses in FPS. All right, so let's get on some Wolfenstein. Now for Wolfenstein, I, uh, there's a lot of graphic options. Let's set it. I th let's set it to ultra. I think it should run it easily at ultra. Uh, everything else is 2560 by 1440. Vertical V sync. Uh, we can leave it ad adaptive, but since I had it always off, I'll turn it off. Motion, motion blur. Let's turn it off. TXA is turned up. That's fine. Uh, advance. Okay. So advance. These these are the these are the normal presets. So I'm gonna leave everything as is. I'm just curious how to see how it's gonna run it. Fresh out the settings. All right, let's play the game. All right, so we have Wolfenstein running. Uh, we have performance metrics here on the right. You guys are probably not gonna see it, but I'm just gonna let you know where we're running it at. All right, so right now it's running around 70 FPS. Oh, shit. All right, so we're getting around 70 FPS on these settings. Now we're getting around 60. game is running silky smooth at this res. Yeah, 67, 70s. But yeah, I mean, get, get running running this game here at these settings, it's, it's honestly a breeze. There's no issues. Oh, wow. Oh, goodbye. But yeah, there's no issues. We're getting around 70 FPS. Uh, the settings are set to ultra. I mean, I can even crank them up a little bit, but right now I feel really comfortable with this uh, FPS settings. All right, let's switch the game. All right, guys, so we got Assassin's Creed here now. So again, 2K res, let's go to graphics. We Again, we're keeping everything at high. All right, since this is a pretty demanding game as well. So let's uh, let's run it. Right, so as you guys can see, we got some FPS over here at 40s. We got the temperature over there at 71 Celsius. And uh, it is pretty demanding, I gotta say. I mean, damn, it's at 40 FPS. It's honestly, I, I gotta lower the settings a bit just to get it um, as playable as I possibly can. But but yeah, this is a pretty demanding game. Maybe, you know, um, third person games tend to be more demanding as, you know, everything is essentially, essentially has to be rendered out. But yeah, I mean, this card, you know, the 580s is, is being uh, put to its maximum right now, I gotta admit. But overall, I mean, let's let's try to uh, let's try to lower some settings. Let's see where we could get with this card. All right, so maybe let's lower the AA to uh, to medium. The the details, the textures, the terrain, uh, the textures. Let's let's see how that works. All right, so once lowering those uh, those settings, we did get a little performance increase, but honestly, it's not even that drastic. What I might do next is just to lower the res. Again, this is. Um, running 2k but i know if i lower it to 1080p it's gonna it's gonna be a little more smoother oh wow it's, it's like a it's like a huge difference it doesn't look as good as it was at 2k res but we're getting around 57 58 yeah 54 so the of course the performance increase you know uh putting a higher resolution monitor is gonna hinder the performance if the card is not as adequate but yeah, I mean, it, it, right now it's definitely playable. I could definitely say, and we could probably even crank up the settings, guys. All right, so I have Adobe Premiere Pro quickly pulled up. I just want to show you guys in a sense of editing, you know, on a on an IPS panel, especially with a uh, 2K resolution, it just looks absolutely amazing. The color reproduction, the color reproduction, excuse me, just looks absolutely beautiful. I just here, I just took one of my old videos that I was working on for the, uh, for actually for this monitor, for this Acer monitor. But what I want to essentially do is. Since we are running at 1800X, since it's a beast when it comes to editing, I want to quickly export this video and just see how quick it's going to get exported and share this with you guys. So let's try exporting it. All right, so let's see essentially how fast it's going to export the video. Of course, we are using, so here we're using 100%, 93% of the uh, CPU. Oh, look at the graphics card. The graphics card is actually working 
a bit too. We got 30% on the 580 as well. So it's saying three minutes to export this video. And this video is uh, six minute long. And of course it's a 1080p video. So it's it's exporting right now. All right, so guys, so the video is about to be done. So look at that, it was like nine seconds. It literally took five minutes just to render render this uh, six minute clip out. Now, of course I shot it at 1080p at uh, 60, of, 60 FPS. Uh, the CPU was working great. The GPU was being utilized as well. So Adobe's doing a good job on that. But that's that, the video's rendered out. Okay, let's, let's rock it, where'd I put it right here? There you go. Looks great. There's, there's your favorite YouTuber, of course. <laughs> but yeah, guys. All right, guys, so as you guys saw, the performance is absolutely beast, especially when you're gaming on a 2K monitor. Now, keep in mind, guys, the entire test bench, the, all of the specs are gonna be in the description below. Also, I'm gonna add a bunch of Amazon links there. Basically, if you guys want the exact PC, I'm gonna throw a bunch of links there so you guys could get it. So as you guys saw for yourself, gaming on this PC, is, is a breeze, but some games, you know, there are hiccups. I mean, all it is is the 580, you know, if we add in a, maybe a 1070 or if we put a 1080 in there, a 1080 Ti, or of course, all the RX uh, cards or the Vega cards, then of course, you know, the performance is gonna increase. However, the 1800X is still a beast, guys. And especially now, the 1800X is not even that expensive, or you could even go with the 2600 or the 2700X, guys. But guys, that's that. I hope I hope in this video I basically summed up exactly, you know, how the system would run in a real world experience. I didn't want to exactly use a lot of synthetic benchmarks because in my opinion, they don't correlate with real world scenarios. Because for me, you know, no one is going to be playing a benchmark. You're not going to be playing Fire Strike. You know what I mean? It's just a synthetic benchmark to basically have you know, to ego stroke each other and say, oh my, you know, I overclocked my system and yada yada, got this score and I'm this, I'm that. No, I want real world, so that's why I prefer doing this and, you know, showing you guys exactly, at least I try showing you guys exactly how it would look in the real world, guys. But tell me guys below what you guys thought of this, you know, leave some comments. You know, if you guys any got any ideas, any pointers, you know, drop in the comments below. But guys, I would love to, you know, learn more and improve this in the near future. Also, we got a bunch of more videos. Like I said, the test bench. We got more, I got no, more graphics cards. If you guys don't follow me on social media, make sure you do. It's at Kosher Tech Media on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. But guys, that's that. I'm Kosher Tech, and I'm gonna catch you next time. Deuces.